Hey guys, today I've got an upper body strength training workout for you. All you need are dumbbells. I would recommend some heavy dumbbells for the first portion of this workout and then some lighter dumbbells for the last portion of this workout. So grab what you've got, exercise mat and some water, and let's do this. Alright guys, we're going to start by warming up the upper body. I'm freezing right now, so let's go ahead and start by rolling those shoulders back and down. I literally just had my bathrobe on, and now we're in a sports bra. I can't say I'm working out in too many layers, so the less layers the better. Alright, we're rolling those shoulders back and down. We're making sure we're not arching that back here, but rather tucking that pelvis, staying engor uh, engorged. Ooh engaged through the core and uh, squeezing those glutes. Go ahead and roll the shoulders forward. Now, I don't want you to stay forward. I want you to roll them forward, but with every roll, you're gonna reset back and down and then roll it forward. So you are going from a beautiful posture to a really uh, terrible posture, right? <laughs> Keep rolling. If you should, uh, should be getting warm, those traps are getting warm. Shoulders, core. All right, good. Reset back and down. We're just going to start swinging those arms one on top of the other with each swing. Opposite arm each time. I'm using my upper back to pull my arms apart and I'm using my chest to pull the arms together. Just get warm. All right, now we're going to pretend we are bodybuilders. And we are going to push an imaginary bar up over our head and then I'm going to pull it down. I want you to think about using your lats. That's these muscles right through here. Use them to pull that bar down. Push it up, pull down. Keep your shoulders uh, out of your ears here, right? Because a lot of people have a tendency to want to do that. All it's going to do is strain your neck uh, and just overuse uh, those traps. So again, keep them down, use your lats to pull those shoulders down, up and pull down. A couple more just like that and pull down. Good, we're gonna step wide. We're going to roll from one side to the other. Come on up, back down the other way. Roll to the other, oh, I am tight. Roll to the other. Again, okay, go right uh, one more time to the other side, and then we are going to come back down, stay down here, opposite hand to opposite foot, and just give it a little pulse here, stretching through that lat. A little pulse. Oh, Franny, a little pulse. Don't hold too long in that stretch. Good, let's go to the other side and just pulse it here. Trying to loosen up that lat. Buddy and Franny are like the troublemakers around here now. Good, we're pulsing. A few more. Pulse opening up through that lat, that side body. One more just like that. Good. Heel toe, heel toe yourself together. And then roll it all the way up. Shoulders back and down. Beautiful. We're going to flex the biceps, and then push down, engage those triceps. Up, push down, up and down. Keep going here, pretend like you have the heaviest weight that you're carrying up, and then you're pushing something very heavy down. It also helps to think you're in water, so you resist it, resist it, or just flex. <laughs> Couple more. Last one here, up, push down. All right, we're gonna come to the foot of the mat or not. If you don't have a mat, I don't have a mat, but I'm imagining my mat here. I'm gonna roll down, walk it out to plank, and then walk it back up. Take your sweet time today. Walk it back up. You can add anything you want at the bottom of that plank there. So roll it down. Maybe you want to add like an up dog. Always feels good. Back up. 
two more just like that shoulders back and down with each rep roll it down walk it out add whatever you want find something that feels good all the way up we've got one more shoulders back and down roll it down i can see franny and buddy staring at me like hey we want to come in i would let buddy in but he would knock everything down all right roll it up guys we are ready to lift some stuff so grab your dumbbells and let's go all right guys the first portion of this like i said is just some basic lifts so we are just going to run through a bicep curl tricep kickback um, a bent over row chest press a dumbbell pullover and a lateral raise we're gonna hit all the major muscle groups of the upper body. So let's go ahead and start with that bicep curl. Again, if you've got adjustable weights or if you've got like a bunch of weights, grab your heavier weights for this one because we're only gonna do 10 reps here. So I'm only gonna use about 13 pounds here, if that. I am still battling an injury, but I'm gonna try to do the best I can. All right, palms rotate outward and we got 10 reps here. In your own time, here we go. Curling it up for one, nice and slow and controlled. Two, three, always think exhale on the hardest part. Four, five, uh-oh, we got a leaf blower going. We're halfway. Six, nice and slow and controlled. Seven, Last three, eight, last two, nine, should be hard. Last one, 10, nice, slowly down. All right, we're moving into triceps. So we are going to hinge at the hips and we will kick back both arms at the same time. So grab your dumbbells for this one. Hinging over, row the weights up. We kick back, here we go for one, two, three, four, halfway here, here's eight, nine, Last one right here, 10. Good, we're going back to the bicep curl. We're gonna knock this first portion of this workout out uh, nice and quick. Then we're gonna do some uh, timed exercises. We'll focus more on posture, alignment. Okay, here we go. Curl, <laughs> uh, go ahead, whenever you're ready, we got 10 reps. One, two, Three, hello, buddy. Four, five, six. Ooh, it's heavy now. Seven, eight, last two, nine, last one, ten. Good. All right, we go triceps, kick it back. If, the, if those 10 reps were easy for you last time, then you can go heavier with your weight. We always want the last couple reps to feel challenging. All right, hinging forward, row it up, kick it back. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, we're halfway. Six, seven, almost done. Eight, back flat. Nine, last one. Ten, good. A little extra rest. We're moving to chest and back. All right, guys, next exercise is a bent over row. I'm going to go a little heavier here. And we go double weights. One dumbbell each hand. I'm doing about 15 pounds. So we're going to hinge at the hips. Remember, we only have 10 reps here. 
So in your own time, take your time. We hinge over. Here we go. Four, one, two, three. Back is flat. Shoulders in your back pockets. Four. Try to hold it up there for a second. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Last two. Nine. Should be hard by now. Ten. Down. All right, we're going to go for a chest press. I'm going to go lighter because... Oh no, I was doing like 20 pounds, I guess. I'm gonna go lighter for that chest press because that is where my injury is. We're all the way down. If you've got a bench, go ahead and hop on it. We press those dumbbells up, drop the elbows out to the sides. 10 reps, here we go. Press one, two, focus on using your chest. Three, abs pulled in. Four, five, strong shoulders. Six, control, control. Seven, eight, last two. Nine, last one, 10. Good, we're back up for that bent over row. We get to move into the fun stuff after this. We just gotta get these basics, the foundations out of the way. All right, we hinge over, 10 reps, bent over row. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, back flat, guys. Nine, last one, 10. Good, all the way down. Chest press. Grab the weight you need. I'm gonna do the same as I did before. We're down, I got hair in my face. Annoying, okay. Chest press when you're ready, here we go. One, whoo, two, don't slam your weights together like I almost did. Three, four, five, six, abs pulled in, seven, eight, last two, last one. Good. Let her relax. We've got some extra rest. We're moving to that um, pullover and the lateral raise. All right, guys, you can go ahead and stay down here for this next one. I'm gonna bump up my weight just a hair, about 20 pounds. I'm gonna use one dumbbell. You can always use two by holding them together. I'm gonna use one and grab it by the sides here. And we've got a pullover. We're gonna be using our lats. So we're down. Dumbbell is straight over my face here, right, right over my uh, shoulder joint. And I'm going to drop it back and pull it up. We got 10 reps just like that. So pull the abs in nice and tight. Here we go for one, use your lats. Two. Three. Four, focus on keeping those shoulders in the right spot. Five, that's gonna force you to use your lats. Six, almost done. Seven. Eight. Last two. Last one. All right, good. All right, we're gonna opt for a bit of a lighter weight. I'm gonna use about nine pounds. And we are going to do a lateral raise. So we're working shoulders, boulder shoulders. All right, we're gonna lift those arms up and out to the side. 
All right, right here, slight bend in the elbow, no arch in that back, tuck the pelvis, engage the abs, squeeze the glutes. Here we go, out to the side for one, two, three, nice strong shoulders, four, five, how many you're making faces yet? Six, seven, almost done, eight, should be hard, last two, woo, last one, good, we're going back for that pullover all the way down, grab the weight you need, I'm going to use it by the handles, you guys do you, when you're ready we drop it down, four, one, two, three, four, pull the abs in, five, this is an ab exercise too, believe it or not, six, seven, eight, last two, nine, last one. Good. All right, we got shoulders again. Grab the weight you need. Up and out to the sides. All right, this is our last exercise of our basics, and we're gonna move into some fun combos. Here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, halfway, six, getting heavy, seven, eight, here comes the faces, last two, nine, last one, good, all right, if you guys need it, get a drink of water, and we are going to do some fun stuff. All right, guys, for the next portion of this workout, I'm just going to be using my eight pounds and my five pounds. I'm not gonna bother with a bunch of adjustments. Um, we have three exercises per circuit and we have uh, we do the circuit twice. Each circuit is like six minutes, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest, simple. All right, first exercise is a curl with a lateral raise with bent arms. So grab the weight you think you're gonna need for that. And we curl up in five, three, two, one, here we go. Curl it up, bring it down about halfway, lateral raise. God, I know what I'm talking about here. Again, curl down, lateral raise. Curl, lateral raise. We got this. So we're working shoulders and biceps. 20 seconds left. 15, 10 seconds. Again, shoulders back and down, out of your ears. Pelvis is tucked. Three, rest. All right, we're gonna hit the bicep again. Shake them out for a second. We're gonna turn the arms outward, the palms facing up, and we will curl laterally, right? A lateral curl. Gonna hit a different part of that bicep. Here we go. Curling up and down. Remember, we're using lighter weight now or whatever you've got. Oh my gosh, eight pounds is getting heavy. After the first part of this workout, 30 more seconds here. I might switch to my dinkier weights in a second. 20 seconds, 15, almost done. Biceps are on fire, right? 10, five, three, and rest. All right, we're gonna go uh, for a tricep kickback. We're gonna alternate arms, so we'll uh, hinge at the hips and you're just gonna kind of sprint it here. 
One after the other. I'm gonna go light. My triceps are still a little sore. Here we go. Taking back, opposite, opposite. Looking for more endurance base here. Nice and quick. I'm not flinging the dumbbell up, but rather lifting it with control. My back is flat. Shoulder blades are in my back pocket, abs engaged, glutes engaged, 20 seconds. Just working on the back of the arms. 10. Almost done. Five. We should have a good burn by now. Rest. Oh my gosh. Okay. From the top. We've got that curl and a lateral raise. We go in three. Here we go. Curl it up, down, out to the sides. Remember that lateral raise is being done with bent arms. Make sure you're breathing. You are halfway here. Again, making sure that those abs are engaged, right? That you're not arching that back. You're not shrugging those shoulders up into your ears. Five. Two. Rest. All right, we've got that lateral curl. I'm gonna stick with my dinky weights for this because my biceps are on fire. I'm being kind of a wuss today. <laughs> Feels like a little sore going into it. All right, turn the arms, the palms out. We curl here. This is an easy one to start arching that back. So stay aware, stay tucked, stay engaged open up through that chest. This is good if you have postural issues, right? If you're someone who looks at their phone all day, hi, yeah, me. So use this as an opportunity to create a habit of opening up that chest without arching through that back. 10 seconds. How's it going, guys? My left bicep is like, no, even with these dinky fives. Two. Okay, we go triceps. We're gonna kick it back, alternating sides. We go in seven seconds. In three. Here we go. Remember, we're trying to build endurance. We were already doing our strength exercises in the beginning where we're trying to build, you know, lots of strength, lower reps, higher weight. Now we're just trying to keep moving. Might get that heart rate up a little, 20 seconds. Almost done, 10. Have those arms. Five, two, yes, rest guys. We've got a little extra rest. Again, if you need a drink of water, do it now. We're moving on. All right guys, our next exercise is a side lunge fly. So basically what we're gonna do is use our lunge as like our little bench here. Go ahead and grab a light dumbbell. We're just gonna lean into it here so we can fly that arm that is not resting on the leg. We wanna feel this back of the shoulder, upper back area in three. Get out of here, dumbbell. Here we go. Remember back of the shoulder, upper back. Might get a little burn through your leg, especially if they're sore like mine. 
strap is flapping around on us here. Feel that upper back working, abs pulled in. You've got 20 seconds left, 15. 10, I thought five pounds was gonna be light. Five, three, oof. All right, same thing on the other side. Shake it out like, hello, right? Hello. All right, other side in five seconds. Let's get ready. Two, here we go. Fly it out. I'm snapping my bra today. Thirty more seconds here. Again, checking to see those abs are pulled in. Don't just let your belly hang there. It is your weight training belt, so use it. Ten more seconds. Use those abs, use that upper back. Three, rest. All right, next exercise, upright row. I'm gonna hinge slightly here to protect my shoulder from going into impingement, right? So I'm gonna hinge ever so slightly. Now we'll row right here. Here we go. Upright. If this bothers your shoulder at all, I want you to just hinge over and do a regular old row, just like we did in the first portion of this workout. Again, I'm not standing completely upright. I am ever so slightly hinged. That's what's gonna keep me from impinging my shoulder there. Slight hinge. Shoulders are um, back and down, right? Shoulder blades in your back pockets. Abs engaged, glutes are firing. Five, two, rest. All right, from the top, grab that dinky dumbbell and get into that side lunge. We go in three, two, here we go. Fly here. Keep that shoulder in its proper place, back and down. Control on the way up just as much as you would control on the way down. Don't fling it up there and just let it fall down. Control every second of this movement. Make sure the glute of that leg that you're leaning into is firing. That's gonna keep you there. Nice and strong, abs pulled in, and then the inner thighs are firing as well. Everything's working, guys. Five, two, rest. Same thing, other side. It's kind of flying by now, isn't it? Other side in five, pull those abs in. Protect your spine, here we go. Protect your lower back. Thirty-five seconds. Go through your form checks. Glute is firing, abs pulled in, inner thighs engaged, shoulder back and down. Not flinging your weight but controlling it, you've got 15 seconds. Control, you got this. Five, oh my gosh, two. Upright row, grab your weights. ever so slightly hinging at those hips, leaning forward. Here we go. Upright row. 40 
30 seconds. <sighs> Squeeze the bum, protect the back. Make sure you're equally distributing your weight through both feet. I have a lot of clients who kind of want to do this. They want to go on one leg, right? Push through both, press through that big toe, <sighs> activate those feet. <sighs> 10. <sighs> Five. Almost done. Oh. Rest. We've got two more circuits left. All right, my friends, our next exercise is a squeeze curl. So what I'm gonna do is just take an eight pounder. This is dinky, right? For a bicep curl, that's like four pounds in each hand, right? If we were to do our curl right here. What I'm gonna do to make it harder is literally try to squish the dumbbell together. I'm gonna squeeze it. This is gonna engage the muscles of my chest as well as the uh, par front part of your shoulder and it's gonna burn like crazy. <laughs> So squeeze, push it together. In five, we curl it up. Three. All right, squeeze it together. Curl. You're squeezing during the entire time. Stay active, stay squeezing. Oh my gosh. 30 more seconds here. Squeeze. Get that chest to fire. Front of the shoulders. I want you to make sure that you're not rounding forward into this. So you're still standing tall, still tucking that pelvis, and your shoulders are still back and down. You are just squeezing the heck out of that dumbbell. You might even have a little shake. Woo, like me, too. <sighs> Rest. Holy smokes. All right, we're going to do a cross body ventral raise. I'm gonna use my fives for this one, and I'm just gonna lift up and across the body in three, we're alternating sides. Here we go. Lift it here and down. Again, making sure not to round through the shoulders or um, even rotate through the core. So stay strong. We're working the front of that shoulder, possibly even into those biceps and chest. Anything today, if it starts to cause you pain, just skip it or go back to one of the exercises that worked for you, right? There's no shame in having to modify, especially if it keeps you from injuring yourself. Five seconds, two, rest. All right, I'm gonna come I'm actually gonna come down. I'm gonna grab both my dumbbells here. Do I really wanna do that right now? I'm gonna use my fives. We're gonna do triceps up and overhead. So I'm here, tucking that pelvis, pressing my weights together, and extending overhead. You can even sit down into your heels if you want. Whatever feels good. You can always do this from standing. For the sake of my arms not going out of the shot, I'm going to stay down here. I want you to squeeze those elbows together. Try to keep them facing forward. You've got 15 more seconds here. Pull the abs in, do a double check. Make sure, making sure those shoulders aren't shrugging up into your ears. Two. Good. All right, let's squeeze, curl, grab that weight. I have like a hair stuck in my mouth. There it goes. All right, and two, squeeze it up and down. Really squeeze without rounding forward. Like you're trying to smash it like a soda can, like you're the Hulk. Elbows are glued at your sides. To make sure you're squeezing, you can even uh, 
uh, not grip it with your fingers, right? And just press the palms together. That really makes sure you're squeezing it there. Oh my gosh. 10. Five. I'm gonna lose it. Three. Ah, all right, cross body ventral raise. Grab those dumbbells. We go in five seconds across the body. Here we go. Lift, lift, work that front of the shoulder into that chest, a little bit of biceps, especially after that move we just did. 30 more seconds here. You are halfway. I kind of am loving this workout today. 15 seconds. 10. Five, almost done. And rest. All right, we got that overhead tricep extension coming down if you want, or you can stay standing. If you're standing, just really be aware. Tuck that pelvis. We go in three. Here we go. Extend. Here, why don't I face forward this time? So I'm trying to make sure my elbows are pointing forward and not going out to the sides here, right? Squeeze them forward. Tuck the pelvis. You are halfway, guys. We have one circuit after this. And the first exercise of the last circuit is kind of tough. 10 seconds, oh my gosh. My triceps are gonna fall off, five. Oh, I just had an elbow crack, two. Oh. All right, guys, moving to our last circuit. All right, guys, our last circuit. We're gonna start with a lifted lateral curl and press. What that looks like is I'm going to engage my lats like I'm flexing, like, hey, where's the beach, right? I'm gonna flex that bicep. I've got a dumbbell in the hand. What I'm gonna do is extend it out in, press it up and down using my lats and then my biceps, obviously my shoulders are working the entire time. Use a light dumbbell. <laughs> this is gonna surprise you how hard it is. We go in two, here we go. Extend it out, stay level, in, press it up. Good, out, in, press it up. I'm, I'm, I'm using this opposite hand to feel the engagement of my lat. Press, oh my gosh, who's shaking? Out, in, up. Oh my goodness, pelvis is tucked guys. No arching in the back. 10 more seconds, are you shaking? I am. Five. Two. Oh my gosh. Okay, other side. Shoulder, bicep, lat. Oh my gosh, everything was working. Okay, other side, same thing. We go in five. Get that lat ready to work. This is my stronger side. Hopefully this is better. Here we go. Out, in, up. Out, in, up in your own time, your own speed. Check your form. Are you tucking through that pelvis? Are you squeezing the glutes? Are you pulling in through the belly button? Is your shoulder staying out of your ear? 20 seconds, guys. 15, holy smokes. 10. Five, almost done. If there's any popping or grinding in your shoulder, rest. 
Make sure you reset and make sure that shoulder is in its proper position. All right, grab uh, two weights. We're gonna do a reverse fly. Hinging at the hips, just like we did with that tricep extension, except the arms gonna fly out to the sides. Here we go. Shoulder blades back and down. Glutes engaged, abs pulled in. This is just like that side lunge fly, except we are not angled um, outward. We are straight down. Halfway, make sure you don't fling the weights up there. If at any time you're like, my arms don't work anymore, what you can do is just drop the weights, squeeze it up, body weight. Just do the best you can. And that's gonna be different every day, five seconds. Some days we're stronger than others. Rest. All right, lateral, lifted lateral curl with that press. It's almost over. And then we can stretch our arms in three. Here we go. Curl it out, in, press. Stay strong, guys. Stay in control. Engage that lat. Oh my gosh. You're halfway. Don't let that elbow start to drop. 15. Remember, if you're starting to pop, or a crackle, reset those shoulders. Make sure they're in the right place. Oh my gosh. Three. Ah. Okay, my, that arm is not gonna work tomorrow. Okay, other side. We go in just about 10 seconds. Wow, okay. Who comes up with this stuff? Other side. Here we go. Out, in. Press, ah, oh, what a nice reprieve, moving to my stronger side. Thirty more seconds, guys. Woo! You're halfway here. Stay strong. Shoulder blade in its back pocket. Don't forget. Abs pulled in, 10 seconds. Oh my gosh, five. Here it comes, there's the shake. Rest. All right, reverse fly and we are done. And we get to stretch, right? How those arms? You guys are gonna let me know if you're able to like get things out of your high cupboards tomorrow. <laughs> Here we go. Reverse fly, this is your last 45 seconds of work. So give it everything you've got. Think upper back. Back is flat. You're sticking your booty out behind you, squeezing those glutes. Slight bend in the knee. Abs pulled in tight. 20 seconds left. 15, 10, oh my gosh, work arms, go, come on, five, three, yes, nice job, you guys, go ahead and just hang here for a second, just let your arms kind of be noodles for a second, <laughs> right? quick sip of water. I'm going to get a drink of water and then we're going to stretch. I don't know if I can lift my water bottle to my mouth, but I'm going to try. Mm. Shaking. <laughs> Shaking. Five pounders. Eight pounders. They did it to me. All right, go ahead and start rolling those shoulders back and down. Opening up through that chest. Relax through the shoulders. Pulling that belly button in, staying tucked, right? We're neutral. Good rolling forward. 
and let's exaggerate that. Forward, exaggerate so you can get a stretch through that upper back. Good. Now let's go ahead and roll it forward and just kind of stretch through that upper back here, like round the heck out of it. And if you want to kind of pull one arm, then the other, you're gonna get a deeper stretch into that upper back. Again, alternating, hairs on me, alternating, pulling those arms. Good, all the way up, shoulders back and down. Grab one arm and just bring it across here. Oh, the upper back got scorched today. I actually think it might have gotten a little bit of work yesterday too. I think that's why it's so tight. Deadlifts, they'll get your back. All right, just breathe. We're still stretching through that upper back, front of our back of the shoulder here. Go ahead and switch sides. Other side, this side's not as tight. And just breathe here. Be proud of yourself for finishing this workout. That was a shaky one. I've definitely got some shakes going on. Make sure you guys eat something after this, right? Something with protein and carbohydrates. All right, let's stretch the triceps. Grab one elbow back and behind here. <sighs> Try to reach down that back. Try to grab your uh, sports bra if you can. <sighs> and just breathe. Switching to the other side. Other tricep. We'll get the front of the shoulder in just a second here. Again, trying to reach that sports bra, the back of your shirt, grab hold of something, deepen that stretch. If you even have like a, like a yoga strap here, you can always hold it back here. But I'm just using, today I'm just using this hand to kind of push it down. Good. Relax for a second there. Let's take the hands, clasp them behind the back and just try to open up through that chest. You want to deepen the stretch here. You can kind of Come to a wide-legged stance and hinge over and just let those arms fall. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. So you wanna hit the front of that shoulder. You could even, obviously you're stretching those hamstrings, that lower back here as well. Just moving in a way that makes you feel good. Your workout is done for the day up nice and slow let's come to a wall or a chair or something just bring that palm against it and turn away so you're stretching through the chest here enjoy it this should feel amazing especially if you're someone who sits at a computer all day if you've got a doorway you can get in there and do both arms at the same time all right so we're here i've got a bend in my elbow right I'm gonna straighten out my arm. Now I'm gonna feel that stretch through my bicep, right? So I've got my arm straight on, so you can see me, ah! That really deepened the stretch by walking back like an inch. So we're stretching that bicep. You might even feel this down into your hand, right? Front of that shoulder. All right, let's switch sides. First with that bent elbow, stretching through that chest. Again, if you're in a doorway, by all means do both at the same time, it feels amazing. I like do that in every doorway in my house. I'm like, ooh, doorway, stretch. Open the chest. All right, guys, go ahead and straighten out that arm now. Oh, the tight side. Straighten out, out that arm, feel it in that bicep, and even into that hand, depending how tight you are. I am very tight, so yeah, I feel it everywhere. Amazing, you guys. Reset, shoulders back and down. Tuck the pelvis, chin retracted. We've got a nice, long, tall posture now and we're ready to take on the rest of our day or maybe it's nighttime and you're going to bed. I don't know. Make sure you like this video, hit subscribe, and I love you and I will see you next time.